All right, guys, we finally got the bike assembled here. Uh, this is the uh, bike that I purchased from Alibaba. And uh, this is the project bike that we're gonna be using for our e-moto build. And I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an overview in terms of the mods and upgrades uh, that I'm gonna be applying to the bike itself. So in terms of changes to the bike, obviously the one thing that we're gonna be doing is replacing the battery. Uh, this particular frame has this really nice section over here in the middle uh, you can actually fit a pretty big pack like almost like a 53 to 70 amp hour pack uh, depending on the voltage so with this particular bike <laughs> we're actually going to be going 96 volts uh, so yeah this is going to be the first 96 volt build uh, for the channel and uh, yeah it's going to be from Amorg and we're going to be putting the pack right here in the middle uh, I'm going to be removing this tray uh, it's it's pretty actually stock. It's a pretty nice tray for storage and stuff like that. See, I have my gloves in here, but I'm gonna be removing this tray, putting the uh, pack in the middle over here, and uh, it's gonna be pretty pretty big. It's it's gonna take up pretty much most of this space here. It's probably gonna be like half an inch uh, from the top here left, but overall, the 96 volt battery that we're gonna be having is gonna be going here. I think in this storage area over here, we're gonna be putting the controller. Uh, I'm gonna be using the 96 890 far driver. Uh, that I have left over from my um, Kodo build. So that's gonna be going down here. There's like sort of like the storage event right here, but I might actually like pull these panels out just to let the controller breathe a bit. So there'll be more air flowing freely through the bottom over there. So of course the cool thing is this little storage tank here. Just in case you guys are wondering, let me turn off the bike actually here. So uh, a lot of the tank batteries that these manufacturers are coming out with have this ignition switch on the top. It used to be like a small button on the side over here um, for the tank batteries, but now there's an ignition switch. You just hit that and it pretty much turns on the pack and the ignition turns on here, so on and so forth. So I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, but, in terms, but in terms of this uh, project build that we're doing, I'm actually going to be emptying out this tank here. Uh, I'll have to just unscrew everything. I'm going to keep the mount that goes on top of the frame here. But I'm going to empty this uh, tank out to really put... I'm actually going to be putting EV charging in here. So I'm going to have the uh, EV charger, the 220 to 240 volt uh, charger inside here. Uh, I might make a hole just for the, for the, um, the J adapter to plug from the top here. So um, yeah, we'll be able to have that as sort of like storage for the charger pretty much. So I swing over to the other side of the bike here. We're actually going to be swapping out the motor for a QS205, 5,000 watt. Uh, it's gonna be a 3T winding, so we're gonna get a bit more top speed uh, in terms of the motor. And uh, the good thing is, since we're running high voltage, uh, it uses less amps, so it's not gonna heat up the motor as much, uh, especially running continuous. And in terms of pedals over here, we're gonna be pretty much deleting the whole pedal system, uh, removing the derailleur, chain, um, the crank arms, uh, we're actually gonna be replacing it with uh, pegles that I had on the on the uh, Kodo. So they're gonna be foldable uh, pedals, uh, just basically, you know, for looks pretty much, but also in terms of comfort because uh, I don't really like riding with pedals, <laughs> you know, in terms of like one foot forward, one foot back. So uh, we're gonna be deleting also the chain ring, obviously, and uh, putting on uh, pegles. Uh, we're probably gonna also be replacing the headlight. This headlight's not too bad, but you know, it's like your standard like factory headlight that you see coming out with these like 48 volt, 52 volt bikes. I'm uh, gonna be replacing the uh, handlebar. In terms of front wheel, I actually wanna keep some weight in the front. So I'm gonna be uh, just replacing the tire on the front motor right here. Even though this is a dual motor bike, I'm gonna be keeping that front motor in the, in the front. Just replacing the tire with some street tires. And then in terms of display, uh, we're actually going to be uh, using two things. We might actually use a DKD display, but I'm actually in the process of getting a smart uh, Android Auto Apple CarPlay display uh, that's going to have front and rear motor, I mean front and rear cameras uh, on both sides. So uh, that will act as our display over here. Um, and then we'll just have our regular ignition on the side over here. Also, in terms of brake system, we're actually going to be running a motorcycle style brakes. Uh, they're actually developed by uh, the Singapore company, uh, Falcon PEV. Uh, so they actually develop these moto style brakes that are able to uh, be compatible with three millimeter thick 
uh, brake discs. More motorcycle grade uh, rotors in the front and the back and using that four piston system uh, as well that they have so that's gonna be really exciting but uh, yeah guys that's gonna be the overall this is gonna be I, I like to call the Alibaba project build uh, but we're basically gonna be taking this and making it a full-fledged 96 volt electric motorcycle but anyways guys uh, I figured I'd, I'd talk about that and also uh, sort of ride around this bike for a little bit in case you're interested in uh, buying this thing stock it actually only cost me uh, about eleven hundred dollars plus tax uh, to get this over here into New York, uh, they actually have a factory over in California. So, um, yeah, guys, pretty pretty affordable uh, in terms of the bike itself. But uh, yeah, let's give this thing a spin and uh, just see what kind of uh, just see how it feels, how the bike feels. Did you get you guys an idea of uh, the you know overall ride quality stock? But uh, yeah, this will definitely be changing uh, once we go through with all the upgrades. All right, guys, so um, this is really my second time riding it besides like testing it out once I unboxed it. But uh, overall, this thing uh, for a dual motor bike is pretty quick. It uh, runs on 48 volts. And uh, I think this battery, this tank battery is only like 25 amp hours, but I don't know what kind of controllers they use. I didn't really uh, sort of deep dive into that a bit, but they're pretty quick. Uh, I think it's rated for... Uh, in terms of top speed, they say it's rated for about like 25 miles an hour. I mean, sorry, uh, they say it's rated for about uh, 35, 36 miles an hour. All right, in three, two, one, let's go. All right, dual motors, full dual motors active. We have the display converted to miles per hour. I have the GPS running in my pocket. Thirty-five, apparently thirty-six. Whoo! This thing gets up to speed very quick. Super nice. All right, let's see what top speed we hit. We hit 35 miles an hour. Not bad. Not bad at all. Especially because this thing only costs $1,100. Super cheap. And the build quality and the welds are, are really, really solid. Woo and it has like this dual uh, rear suspension, which I really like and really comfortable. And you can even swap that uh, those dual shocks in the back, which is nice. The front fork is adjustable here. You have the uh, compression knob right here on the top. One thing also, I really like the look of the bike as well. It has this sort of like uh, like Spark Cycle Works, like Bandit Onyx look to it. You know, it's hard to describe. With like a mix of like circuit, <laughs> like a circuit bike. But yeah, if you guys are like in the market for just a regular like dual motor style e-bike, you know, like dual motors is, uh, I think a lot of companies, you know, have at least one dual motor e-bike in their lineup. But they're super popular also, obviously, because of the uh, hill climbing ability and the torque. Yeah, so I've been having fun with this bike. It's only the second time I've been riding it but really comfortable but if you guys are interested in this bike I'll uh, I'll put the uh, the Alibaba link in the description and you guys can check out the bike for yourself they have a warehouse in California that they ship from and uh, it came in like less than seven days so it was really quick.
believe it or not, this is actually only my, this is my first time purchasing an Alibaba bike. I was close to buying a Stealth Bomber uh, a few years back from Alibaba, but, you know, just like a lot of others, I've been sort of, um, like, hesitant, you know, with uh, certain trustworthy distributors and stuff like that, so uh, I found one that had, like, over 10 years experience, and um, they had a warehouse in, in, in the U.S., so it definitely uh, helped kind of, like, make the decision a bit easier. And like I said, I, I purchased this with my own money. This is not like sponsored by the company or anything like that. Um, because I'm not doing a review on it. So um, overall, I'm just gonna say first impressions, it's a very, very, very solid bike. And honestly, I can't wait to build this bike out and really push the limits of the of the QS motor, the 205. Also in terms of pedal assist, if you're wondering if pedal assist works, it does. <laughs> I think you can pedal this thing up to like 25 or something like that. One thing I have to say too, uh, because I'm going to be emptying this tank battery out, I kind of have to be careful because obviously there's cells in here there's a bms connected to the pack itself so i gotta be careful when removing this um because there is an ignition starter in here and um you know i don't kind of don't want to like mess up anything or <laughs> but yeah guys this thing is awesome it's a blast to ride stock you know what's funny it goes just as fast as a cyber as a segway cyber for one third of the price. <laughs> Granted, it might not have the same uh, capacity, but in terms of uh, performance, speed, it's pretty, uh, pretty decent. All right, guys. So hope you, hopefully, y'all enjoyed that video. Um, you're going to be seeing this bike in a couple of future videos and uh, I'm pretty excited to start putting this, uh, this build together. Uh, I should be expecting the battery in about two weeks and the motor I think in also two weeks so hopefully everything comes on time. <laughs> and if uh, you haven't yet please be sure to like, comment or even subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!